Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet OK episode 2. My name is Lydia and it is January 17th, 2021. Today I am wearing a poncho that I made a while ago. Um, the pattern is called the Lacy Day Poncho. It is a free pattern on Ravelry and I'll go ahead and link that in the description. Um, the yarns are, I believe, are two types of Lion Brand yarn, but I don't remember the exact, uh, the exact kind. And I felt it was good for today because ponchos just basically feel like you're wearing a blanket and I am enjoying my three day weekend right now. I don't have school on uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so it's been good. All right, let's get to my finished objects. So the first finished object I want to show to you today is this beanie. Um, it is getting to the point in Houston where we're starting to have some slightly cold weather now in January. And by that I mean that sometimes you want to wear a hat in the morning and in the afternoon you don't need it. But I realized that I didn't actually have very many beanies, so I just made this one really quick. Um, the yarn that I used is um, Patton's Croy Socks FX and the color is Clover Colors. Um, so I just had a ball of that lying around and I made this beanie really quick. Um, didn't use a pattern, it's just uh, double crochets and then front and back post double crochets for the ribbing. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on, I guess. So that is that, just a basic beanie. And that's my first finished object. Uh, my next finished object is this cat bed. Uh, it's just basically a big circle uh, with some short walls and I consider this one a success because I've already, I finished it yesterday, I've already noticed both of my cats using it and uh, that's always the test because some things, sometimes you get things for your cat and they just don't want anything to do with it. So um, the uh, yarns that I use here, this is Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, and I had these colors left over from an afghan. Um, the sides are uh, Lion Brand Mandala Thick and Quick, and I got these. It was two balls, and I got those two balls um, from my good friend Mel. So I just combined them together to uh, make a cat bed, and that's finished object number two. So number three is the pillow that I showed you guys the last time. Um, the pattern is the Glorious Granny pattern by Fiber Spider, and I'll link to that pattern down below. So I had pretty much just enough of this yarn for the front of the pillow. This is um, Noro. The yarn is Tayo Sport, and the color is three. Um, so this was enough for the front and I had to use a different yarn for the back. This is just a plain square. And the yarn that I use for the back is uh, Yarn Bee Fresco Fiber, Fresco Fiber Avocado. And I have to tell you, I feel guilty for buying this yarn um, because it is a Hobby Lobby yarn and normally I boycott Hobby Lobby. Um, the reason I have it is uh, in my hometown when I was home for Christmas, the only craft store that they have is Hobby Lobby. And so I was in there picking up uh, some yarn for my mom who um, is making an afghan. And while I was there, I saw this yarn and I was like, what, what's the harm, right? And just, just a little bit of yarn, does it really matter? Um, but I was still feeling kind of bad about it. So when I got home, I um, did some research to remind myself of the reasons that I had started boycotting Hobby Lobby. So now I am definitely continuing to boycott them. Um, I think the, the Hobby Lobby controversy that most people know about is um, the case that went to the Supreme Court about how they didn't want to provide uh, certain types of birth control for their employees, um, like IUDs and the, the morning after pill. So, you know, that's pretty bad on its own, but um, it's not 
it's not the only problem that I have with Hobby Lobby. Uh, their owners have also donated money to uh, anti-LGBT uh, groups. Uh, they are, uh, the owners are very evangelical Christians and so um, they've donated to those groups. So also not great in my opinion. Um, and in what I think is the wildest Hobby Lobby controversy, they were also caught um, trying to smuggle art illegally into the country. And they had purchased this stolen art in the Middle East um, for a Bible museum that they have opened. And the stolen art that they purchased uh, most likely went to fund terrorism in the Middle East. So uh, yeah, these are not people that I that I choose to support. So I'm not going to purchase from Hobby Lobby again. Um, but that is where this yarn came from. So just uh, for honesty's sake. Um, but that that whole that whole thought process kind of got me thinking about uh, the ethics of big yarn companies in general. Um, because even though other yarn companies probably aren't involved in funding terrorism, I mean, I say probably because I don't really know, um, you know, even then, there are still ethical questions that I have. Um, when it comes to my clothes, I don't purchase anything new except for socks and underwear but as far as like pants shirts things like that i only buy second hand or uh wear handmade things you know either for myself or things i've received as a gift and um the reason for that is just uh trying to be a more ethical consumer um there's there's so many things that you can consider when it comes to you know the ethics of what you buy um as far as yarn uh you can think about uh the fiber and how it's farmed and how that impacts the environment um you can think about the the conditions of the workers who are you know producing it who are spinning and dyeing it and you know what their labor conditions are like um and you can also consider the uh, the end of the garment's life. So, for example, if the fibers are biodegradable or if they're plastic, you know, that's something else you can think about. Um, and my preference would be to buy yarn secondhand as well, like I do with clothes. Um, but unfortunately, the place where I buy yarn from secondhand um, is not open because of the pandemic right now. So. I don't really have that option and I still want to continue to crochet, you know, it's, it's my hobby. It's very important to me. Uh, so, so yeah, I don't really have a, an answer right now of how I'm going to try to be more ethical, uh, with my yarn purchases. Um, let me know in the comments, have you ever like, emailed a company about their supply chain and how did that go because uh that's something that i've been thinking about um when it comes to the major yarn companies so um yeah just food for thought i guess um if this is a topic that is interesting to you uh i would really recommend uh the true cost it's a documentary about the garment industry um, and if I can find that, I will link that in the description as well, because I think it's a good uh, starting point for these conversations. I just have one work in progress that I want to show to you today, and it is this. Uh, it's going to be a tablecloth. And just look at how gorgeous the colors of this yarn are. This is uh, Cotton King's Twirls Deluxe from Hobby and I I love it. These are some of my favorite colors. The color is called Baltic Amber, which I think is a really good name. You know, it's it's looks just like amber. Um, I only ordered one because this is the first time I had ordered from Hobby. Um, right now, this is 
pretty much the size of the top of my table. Um, but I'm thinking I kind of want it to hang off the edge like a regular tablecloth. So I will have to order another one, but um, some of the other yarns that I want from Hobby right now are out of stock. So I'm kind of waiting on that. This project is going to probably be put on hold until I can can order more, but I just wanted to show you because I love the colors. I love how it, you know, how smooth the gradient is, just transitioning from one to the other. And I don't know if you can see, but um, the way that they do that is they have two colors that are applied together. So it, it's a gradual transition through all of the, the colors. And I think it's just turning out really nice. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you liked what you saw, make sure you follow me here and on Instagram. My Instagram is Lydia Ty. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I will see you all next time.